One thing about me is that I'm actually not an organized fridge girl. You know those people who have the perfect fridges and you open them and all the drinks are lined up and just everything is crisp and perfect and in their place and in containers. Well, I'm actually not one of those girlies. We actually, girl, we be living in this house. Like food is everywhere and like leftovers and just random stuff that we eat in there. And I don't really keep up with how clean it is. But it is time, I am, I am pretty good about cleaning my actual fridge, like cleaning it out. Maybe not the organization part, but we're gonna do that today. Let me show you it. This is a, let's go ahead and put our no judgment goggles on and we're not gonna judge me. And then we can take them off and you can go back to judging me after I show you the fridge. Here we go. I bought this stainless steel cleaner and it said it was streak free and it is the streakiest cleaner I've ever used in my life. And we always get nasty fingerprints here. So that, that does irk me. This is my fridge. <gasps> Okay, the drinks don't look so bad. It's not cute. So I do need to clean it more so like the shelving's just gross from food storage. So we're gonna take stuff out. Tyler said something smells bad in here. So he said he's gonna help me clean it out. We need to find out what smells bad in here too. Look at that. <gasps> Chocolate pudding. Oh my God, my weakness. I said, don't judge me. This is my leftovers. I cooked chicken kebabs and some rice last night. Uh, let me just set this camera down. Dr. Pepper, get the energy. I'm gonna do one shelf at a time. We're gonna do, let's do, let's do this one. So this brand had sent us cat food for our, what's it called? What's the name of the brand? I don't know. Oh, I think, I don't know. I don't see it. It's not, there's no brand on it. But anyways, they sent me this. It's like human grade food for a cat. So I Googled the company, of course, before I fed it to them and they are a legit company. So I've been feeding it to my cats and they actually like it. There's so much lettuce. I also bought this and I don't know if it's gonna be good or not, but I just took it out of the freezer. Oh, there's like a Ew. I actually think I'm gonna take this shelf out too. And just do both. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna hand wash these and then I wanna organize the food a little better. Um, these don't look as dirty like from far back, but like if you get up in there, they're really gross. I said really gross. It's like cat hair. Lovely. Don't eat dinner in my house. Look at that. Ooh. All right, darling, I'm here. Ooh, it's cold, honey. Just took out all the cans so I could like wipe down the back wall because it's also pretty gross too. How you doing? Pretty good. I'm just trying to get these crevices off. I just got these Rubbermaid containers off Amazon. They're like a good medium size, so I'm just trying to take some stuff out of the plastic and like put it in containers. Right and like clean it's looking in here. This is, this is the vibe. We gotta go through this part a little bit, but it's looking, I've been trying not to keep this door open too long. 
you know, I've been trying to like close it in between. But I've also been cleaning out and just organizing the food and stuff as well. So, you know. I went to take out the trash, but I'm gonna show you what we've gotten done so far. We only have to go through the door of the fridge, which is like low key a disaster. But look how organized we are. Did I just become an organized fridge girly? Maybe. Not really. I mean, kind of. I mean, listen, it's better. Is it a vibe in here? No, it's not. But look how, look how good we're looking. All the greens. I love it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now we're just going to do the door and then we're done. I've been wanting to do this forever. Update. This is the door. I did all of like the sauces, the butter. Y'all know I love some lemon and lime juice, condiments, hot sauces, and pickled things. And then down here is our salad dressings. I really pretty much only eat this right now. So you just gotta have ranch in there. No one really eats it. It's honestly probably expired. I need to check that. It expired in January, I think. Of 25, no way. Of 24, right? We did it, our fridge is probably like defrosted because I had it open for so long. So we're gonna close it and then I just need to clean the outside of it. We're going to the beach today. She wants early birthday oh, yeah. presents. Well, we bought the Hoka white sneakers and he won't give them to me. They're for Everybody's your running this red light. It's, birthday. It's a green light. You have a week and a day for your birthday. Oh. You have to wait for your shoes. I want them now. But first, although my girlfriend, she hit me up and she was like, hey, girly, if you, those stretch out for some reason. So she's like, definitely like if you are seven and a half, get a seven in them. She was like, mine, like definitely like they loosen up as you walk in and run in them. And I go, uh, I bought an eight. <laughs> like I bought a size too big oh, for me because I thought if I was going to run in them, like you want space. So your foot's not like crammed and slamming down. So I was like, so they're going to be too big for you eventually but i don't know i'm, I'm still gonna she was like oh but i'll Should we return them this is my first time to a fast food place there we go this week it's is it yours time. okay that's not bad. Mm -hmm, not bad for us that's not bad for us <laughs> it's maybe that bad. might be good for y'all but that's not bad for us i've been like cooking every night of the week so I have not, like, I have not ordered anything this week I'm off doing Postmates, meal prepping. like, none of that. Like, I'm straight up, like, cooking all my meals. So, it's been good. Maybe what do you treat. want, babe? Um, to me. Good morning. Would you be using a McDonald's app today? Not today. Uh, can I get a number uh, four? A Dr. Pepper. And then can I get a number seven? Can I do a large coffee? Uh, Two cream, one sugar on the inside. Can I do two creams and one sugar on the inside? First one, no. Thank you. I do not want their dark pepper. I want my own dark pepper, but I actually forgot to get one at the house. I'm so pissed. Their dark pepper's not good, so to me, it's not like worth it to drink it. It's not carbonated enough? It's just soda water. Oh, it's too carbonated. Yes, thank you. I installed my card and took it back to Santa Barbara with her. So you canceled it? So I, I canceled the card because I, I couldn't find it anywhere. It turns out she had it, and then she brought it back to me when she came back for the summer. And I was like, She oh forgot she had it or she stole it? a little of both. Oh, the girl's out getting anything she wanted. Uh-uh. She told me she did it. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Y'all just made it through the whole drive through with us. Guys, we haven't been to the beach since it got warm. I have. I have it. So oh, my God. Oh, my. I got the wrong one. <laughs> Sorry. Who is that a whole conversation about this, Laura? Okay, so that one doesn't work. Let's see if this is the one that works. He, he said, Mitch, you're not getting your breakfast. <laughs> we are we're gonna be holding on to the breakfast. I have more cards. Oh my god, I have a gift card to TJ Maxx and we didn't use it the last time. Oh my god. I need to use that. They're not gonna give us our food until you can get that payment. Dang it. Watch this one decline too. He's gonna be like, if you're broke, just say that. <laughs> if you're broke, just say you're broke. Ma'am. Let's see what I got. Hold your coffee. I like getting Hold the your burritos. Coffee. Hold your coffee. My coffee is hell. It's about to be a big bump. Ooh, oh. scrub, scrub, scrub. Let so... me taste. It's actually. Mm, it's alright. 
It's all right. It's all gloomy. Right. Listen, y'all. We made it out to the Look beach. The <laughs> so we go to the Florida beaches a lot. So people always ask us, they always compare California beaches to Florida beaches and ask us which one we like better. This is exhibit A of why Florida beaches are way better. It's like every morning it looks like this and it doesn't clear up until like yeah, 2 after, p.m. Yeah, one after I mean, it would be more enjoyable if the sun was out. Yeah, it would be. It would be better if the sun was out. Like, what, what's the temperature here right now? Like you 70? You know what the best time is when I like to come here is like November, December. It's like- Still warm. Yeah, it's really sunny down here. No tourism. No tourism and it's sunny. It's sunny, there's no fog in. Yeah, the fog is, is gone. When everybody's like all cold and in the snow, that's whenever our beaches are the best. status of my closet is always like disaster like i get ready a lot for my job <laughs> that includes outfit hair jewelry body all that happens in here i also film in here so it's like a little film studio for me my closet is put to good use and that's why when i bought this house i saw this closet i was like this is the one y'all know i shoot a lot of content and like this closet helps me with that but that's why it's always a mess i'm trying to explain myself <laughs> let's just clean it white fox haul i've been literally digging through the white fox clothes to wear every day because i've been wearing all the new stuff i got instead of just putting it away i've literally been digging through the pal from the try on i don't even know this is from a podcast from a month ago that i put up disaster disaster y'all i'm just a mess i don't know i love to clean but i'm just as big of a mess as i am a cleaner so here we are oh my god i'm also going out with my friends tonight which i'm so excited for we had planned this for last week but all of us like canceled because we were all just like busy and it's like not happening. So we're making it up for it on this Thursday, which is fabulous. I'll wear your bras. Oh, they smell clean more than once because I know I do. I wear them so much, so I hate to wash them too much. Maybe that's just me. Maybe it's you too. I don't know. I need to get these shirts steamed. My assistant is an excellent steamer, so she always like just leave out on a hanger where you want steamed. And so she'll just come in here and do that for me. And that is like a little task that I appreciate. Steam those. Bad boss. By the way, this orange set is from Aloe and I would have linked it, but I got this like a year or two ago and they don't sell it anymore. I try to link it for you guys and it's not happening, vibes. I tried, I swear. I love this orange color though. I look like a traffic cone walking through the straight. I really do, I like a traffic cone. I also wear my sleepy tees. Like sometimes, see this one, I got stuff on it and it's kind of gross. So then I'll wash it, but like if I just slept in it, like. A lot of the time, I'll just switch it up. I'm also about to get rid of some of my sunglasses. Like, these look so stupid on me. Ma'am. Absolutely not. All right, dirty, dirty. These are clean. I wore these for like two seconds, so. You're literally so welcome. I thought you might like that bag because I know you had the black coach bag. So I thought the white one would be cute for summer, even though summer's ending. And I know you like a big bucket bag. I actually got that a while back whenever we were in um, Palm Springs. They have like a big ass coach store there. So I just went in, I saw that bag. I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna go ahead and get this for, for her birthday. So I've been holding on to it. I was gonna, I was like, damn, should I tell her I got her that so she doesn't go buy the Marc Jacobs bag? Babe, I'm gooped and I'm gagged. Why, what happened?
vlog fam, I just got ready. I'm just wearing a t-shirt, these nylon pants, and some sneakers. We're about to go out to eat and then hang out with our friends for a little bit. And you know, do our little thing on this fine Thursday afternoon. <music> The fool. Yeah. Right, I'm like, wait, what channel are we on? <laughs> I don't know anymore. Hey, can we go back to the it's all day. <laughs> yeah, we need Were those not the. We um, didn't order those. No, we ordered this. No, but we also ordered the avocado ones like that, right? That are in those. Oh, is that the wanton avocado? I kind of think they are. I'm never gonna be able to pick that up because <coughs> yeah, I'm vlogging. And it's time for Daniel to go. Oh! You, you are not well. Not... Wow! <laughs> Laura's like, get these gays you we were out of my. <laughs> get these gays out of my house. Get Try to out kill of here! Me. Get out of here! Get him! Get him! Happy Friday, hoochies. Me and Ty are going to lunch. Then we're gonna run some errands and get some stuff done. It's Friday, my favorite day of the week. I love Fridays. It's always something going on, and then I get a lot of stuff done too. So busy Friday. He hates my car. You gonna do a cheers? I feel like that one was lame. Wait, don't drink it. Do one more. Cute. Wait, I didn't like it. Just one more. Just one more. Your pocket. Oh, no. One more. You're fucking with me. No. <laughs> Stupid. Do one more. You're done. I'm cutting you off. No more cheers. Well, lunch was good. We ate too much. <laughs> we ate too much. Making all the dumplings. So yummy. Okay, we're literally just putting stuff away because it's supposed to rain so much for the next few days. So we just put the covers on, covered the umbrella. She's going back to school tonight. <laughs> A Prepare for Hurricane Hillary. Hurricane Tropical Hillary! Tropical Storm Hillary! <laughs> <laughs> Crazy girl! leave all this stuff because it doesn't get wet anyway so we just leave this area because it's not gonna get wet anyway so we just put all the extra cushions and pillows and then I think we're good Tyler's covering his grill actually I'm leaving my floaty out for a free wash and then these chairs I got for a pretty good deal I think I got paid like 150 for two of them but I specifically wanted them because they didn't have cushions we've had so many chairs out here with cushions and they're so annoying because they just tear up in the sunlight like the weather damages them but like these we've had all summer and besides the teak fading which is gonna happen either way but, you know you don't have to deal with the cushion so I love these mm -hmm. happy Saturday we're going out with our friends we're going put putty I'm gonna wear this Prada fragrance tonight took off my nails because I want to put new ones on but that's so random but anyways I'm about to go putt putting. My outfit is super casual, so can't wait. Let me show you the sunset. It's so pretty right now. I need you to see it. Like, are you kidding me? I'm a sunset girl. Like, I'm gonna tell you that one thing about me. Oh, oh I'm vlogging. Oh, <laughs> I see what you're doing. 
what you got? This is me off. All right. Get it in the uh, first one, not the second. Oh, 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 oh. That's unfortunate, Jason. <laughs> All right. Come on, Laura. Right. Let's All right. see it. All right. oh. <laughs> Dang. Oh, really? Oh. Oh. Come on, come on. <laughs> hey, yeah. yeah. Shit. <laughs> Jesus, I was not ready. <laughs> not bad. <laughs> Well, well, well. Rats. Thank you, Jason. This is what Tiger wants to do. Oh, 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 oh. She's back, baby. You're on camera. Boom, boom, boom. Not bad. It's a nice setup. Wow. <laughs> Hello, it is Monday. I have a lot of work to do, but I'm gonna vlog a little bit this morning. I was just finishing editing this vlog. Actually, um, I'm about to blow dry my hair because I washed it last night and I had intentions on spending all this time blowing it out and then our power went out. It was weird that the power went out though because like the hurricane was literally just a little bit of rain. It rained all day, but there was like no wind. It was like a tropical storm by the time I got to us, Hurricane Hillary. Our power went out. It went out at like eight o'clock and then it was out until like five o'clock this morning. So it just came back on this morning. I couldn't blow dry my hair. Not the end of the world. We're just gonna blow dry it today. I had ordered some stuff from Revolve, so let's open that. I also got this palette from Natasha Denona. It looks so pretty. I need a new palette. Let's look at it. I love these colors up in here. Thank you. Here are the two things I got from Revolve. I got these heels. They're so cute. Australian owned. I have quite a few pair of heels from this brand. They sent back up little end pieces for the heel. Ta-da! Such a Y2K shoe, but like I love a low heel. I'm gonna try this on. I'm doing this with one hand. I promise it would be much more smooth if I had three arms, but I just don't today, so. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, these are fabulous, honey. Fabulous. Very happy about that. Okay. These will be so cute. Oh, these are kind of hard to walk in. I'm not gonna lie. Let me try again. It's like my, <laughs> my foot wants to go sideways in them like that. Out here in these streets in my pajamas. These sunglasses were thirty dollars. Let's try them on. I like them a lot. They fit my head really great. I thought they would. Like I saw them online, I was like, I'm getting good at the sunglass thing, guys. I thought they would, and they do. They're really great. So I got these from Revolve too. And I also pre-ordered this cap. It's really cute. I'll link it down below with the shoes and the sunglasses. Um, but I pre-ordered it. It's supposed to come in a few weeks. It was like the cutest little like hat. Y'all know I love a hat, so a win is a win. Did I mention to you guys, I can barely walk right now. I did this Peloton strength workout yesterday and I knew I was in trouble because when I finished, my legs were quaky and shaky. And now today I'm literally like, oh, I'm so, so, like, I can barely walk. I overdid it. I Man, I didn't overdo it. It was a 30 minute workout. It wasn't that big of a deal, but you wanna know what gets me every time I do a workout? Lunges. Doesn't matter if I've done like 10 million lunges in my lifetime. Lunges, they make me sore no matter what. Girl, they really get my legs, my thighs, my booty. They get it all, building that new muscle. Oh my God. And all the Peloton workouts, y'all, they love to throw a lunge in there. Every time I'm like, dang up. They were actually weighted lunges that I was doing yesterday. So that's probably why I'm like ridiculously sore, but it'll be better in a day or two. Honestly, whenever I do hot yoga, it like literally makes it better. So blow dry this hair. Even though my hair's dry, this GHD dryer that I keep down here, I love it a lot. I also like my Dyson one, but that one's upstairs. And I honestly love this GHD one too. It has like ions in it and it really like smooths out my hair. So we're just gonna give it a little. <laughs>
Okay, we're getting ready for the day. And I just used, I just went ahead and put on this super group goop sunscreen. It's pretty sunny today, so I don't want any sun on this mug. And now I'm gonna mix the Drunk Elephant Drops and the Mario Foundation. Look at that, empty. This is my second bottle of this. I gotta, I gotta move on. I need to find a new foundation. It's just like, I'm the type of person whenever I find something I like. So I'm just gonna put on this. Because this foundation is in the shade 140. I was 120 in the summer, I'm 140 now, and now it's too light for me. So I've been like doing this as a lazy girl thing, just like mixing it on my face. Oh, take my little brush, and I've literally just been mixing it together on my face. Like the drops, because it deepens up the foundation just a hair, and it makes it match me a little better. I never mean to get as much sun as I get on my body during the Summer just happens because y'all know I love to be outside. Oh, I love to be outside. I was talking the other day about being an influencer because I was like on live and I love when you guys like ask me questions and keep the conversation going because it's fun. You guys like get to ask me stuff that you want to know. Cause sometimes like I don't I don't know what you want me to talk about. But on live, like y'all will straight up just tell me. I'll be like, girly, talk about this. But y'all are asking me about being an influencer. Like, do you think you can be an influencer for like this, that, that? And all I was saying is like, I think one, anybody can be an influencer, any age, at any time. I don't think there's too many influencers already. I don't think that's a way, uh, a thing, trust me. Influencers fluctuate in and out. So there's always a spot for you. What I was saying is, my battery's dying. Let me change this out real quick. It's just one of those jobs. We're gonna go on with the NARS. Custard. There's no boss. You're your own boss. And like if you're a very not motivated person and like you struggle getting going, um, it could be tough being an influencer because there's no one there to make you do your job. And like the thing is too, like let's say you're, you know, you gotta study and like you're struggling with motivation, get started studying. Well, you know what you gotta do. Like you gotta sit down, you gotta open this book, you gotta turn to this page, and this is these are the things you gotta study. But with influencing, it's like not only getting motivated, you also have to create the job because there's not like an actual line out of what you need to be doing that day. Like you have to take the time to plan out what you're gonna film, how you're gonna film it, what are the things you're gonna need to film it. You know, what are your ideas? What are your lighting? Like you're gonna have to map out every angle of this job. So I would just say like, if you struggle with motivation, I think influencing could be a bit of a struggle. It's not to say it's not for you, it's for everybody, but I'm just saying like, it's one of those types of jobs where you had to make yourself just get up and get going. And like, to be honest, like Aaron, my niece, like she, I was like, if you wanna do influencing, like obviously make a channel, I'll help you with whatever you want. It's not for everybody. And like, she struggles so bad, like with motivation. And she's been doing different things to help her get going with that. But she learned very quickly, like influencing is just like not for her. And like, she's seen all the ins and outs of it. Sees the comments, the feedback, the criticism, the work that goes into it, the planning, the motivation. And she was like, it's too much. She was literally like, it's too much. Like, this is not for me. I don't want to do this. Like she's like, it's it's crazy. She's like, you put all this work in, you put content out there. Sometimes it does so bad, sometimes it does good. People criticize it. You know, she's like, I just can't handle all that. And I was like, I literally 100% understand that. It is not for everybody, but it is for everybody if you want to do it. I don't want to discourage anyone to do it. I want to encourage people to do it. But I'm just gonna be honest and like what it's kind of like. That was one of our conversations we had um, on my live sesh. So I thought we'd have it here too. The thing that motivates me about influencing so much is that I actually, like I like filming content. I like talking to you guys. I like the relationship I have with you guys. And like, I love that. That's like my favorite thing about the job. So it motivates me to create content because I like what I do. Sometimes I get overwhelmed and it's not as fun, but that's every job. Um, but this is such a good job. So like, it makes me happy to be able to do it. It makes me motivated. So I don't know, I guess like for me, it's worth it, you know? Anyways, that's the tea on that. Oh, I'm using this little milk sculpt stick and stoked. They sent me these in PR and they're actually really good. It like goes on very cool tone and I was like, oh, I just ruined my makeup. But then as I blended it, it got really warm. So it was actually nice. So I've been enjoying this. Gorgeous. We're gonna do our brows. We're gonna do our brows. We're gonna do our brows. I hate getting ready with my makeup desk. It's a mess. I'm gonna use this Kosa's Pop Nano. This is a brand new brow pencil and I'm using mine in dark brown. It's like tiniest little nugget of a pencil but i like it i like it a lot i feel like i would go through this one pretty quick i'm not gonna lie to you but it's 
a good brow pencil. The way I was talking about KVD Beauty the other day, I was like, dang, is this still a brand? Like, what are they up to these days? And I went to Sephora and they had like a mega huge stand there. And I was like, oh my God, they have so much makeup. I don't know if they're in every Sephora, I've been missing them, but I want to get back into them. So I'm about to, I don't even know if they send me makeup anymore. I'm going to do a PR unboxing this week and we're going to figure that out. But some brand I really love, like I still have some of their products that I love. Like their eyeliner, the tattoo, so good. Their blushes, incredible. Mascara was great. I don't get it. So I need to get back into that. Some brands I just love and I just want to get up in there. Want to get up in there. Okay, and then for this brow, I'm going to gel it now. But I've been using the Chris and Dominique, the Chris and Dominique, Dominique Cosmetics brow gel. It's a really, really good one. I honestly think she should be sold out of this because I think it's that good. Like I'm like, everybody needs to get this. It's like glue. <laughs> It's so strong. It's kind of hard to find like really strong ones. I feel like this one is like snatched. Crazy story. So I obviously get more makeup in than I can use and I like to send it to my family and friends like boxes. I also do giveaways for you guys. You guys know that. Cause I don't want to just sit here and go to waste. But I had taken out the brow pencils that Kristen has sent me and I was like, I'm gonna keep these for myself cause I can't wait to use them and they're great. Then I, my sister has lighter hair than me. So I sent her other brow pencils that were in there that aren't my colors. And then she was like needing a brow gel. So I hadn't tried the Kristen one, the Do Dominique Cosmetics one. So I had sent it to her. I was like, I'll just give her the brow gel too. You know what I mean? I got, I got brow gels. Like, let me just give her the brow gel. And she told me, she was like, that's the best brow gel I've ever used in my life. And I was like, oh. I was like, what? And she was like, yeah. And so I actually heard another influencer say this on TikTok about the Dominique brow gel. And I was gooped and gagged, girl. I was like, I did not just send the best brow gel ever. So I immediately purchased one. So I sent her my PR one and then I went back and bought this one. I'm so happy I did because I agree. It's so good. So good. All right, we have brows. We have brows, we have brows, we have brows. I'm literally missing my full fantasy palette and I'm devastated. Just kidding, I found it. This is it, this palette I use every day on my eyes, like no joke. Such good colors. Oh, oh, oh. I definitely go for this color like every single day. All these. I will link this palette down below for you guys, but um, yeah, it's my favorite. It is the best go-to palette. I've seen so many influencers use it. It makes me so happy that like it's gotten really good reviews and that people are living. You guys got a full fam. I know there's full fam up in here. So if you guys got if you guys got the full palette, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about this little thing right here. We were still changing for the better. I think I'm gonna go in with your fave, which is the shimmer color. I love or should I do matte? I wanna do matte. I'm gonna do matte. I'm gonna go in with Cloudy. This is a bone shade. It's nice and matte. And I'm just gonna lightly press it in. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do a little bit of Rare Beauty eyeliner. my lash curler do not do this at home this is something i've done forever do my lashes a curl but you can totally burn your eyelid doing this so i'm not trying to like i'm not encouraging this as a matter of fact don't do it don't do it this mascara from benefit is a hard 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 10 out of 10 it is so amazing like it's two blinks okay like 10 blinks boom it like, it's crazy good. This is their best, best mascara they've ever done. For lippies, we're gonna go with my regular lip combo, Cork by MAC Lip Liner. And every day, I wear my Mora lipstick. It's like a really pretty, not too pale, like nudes that are too pale sometimes wash me out and look crazy. Are they slightly white and chalky? This one has a nice pinkness to it, so it doesn't do that. Okay, I think I'm gonna take a little lip brush. <gasps> okay, we're almost ready. Vlog fam, that was a day. I finished my hair and makeup. I did a little hair tutorial. 
if you guys want to show that some love it's on instagram to show you how i got this hair but i just finished filming all my content which i'm very proud of it's 5 15 i'm about to go fix something i was like why am i hungry i eat the grandma special sometimes especially during the week y'all i get hungry early okay i'm not doing hot yoga today i'm gonna do it tomorrow but yeah that's pretty much this vlog look, look at this look at this mess who did that i did me what's the problem it's me anyways see y'all in the next vlog thank you guys for being here and watching i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog of my life things have been really calm lately and like very chill which i've been loving i told i was like i need like because i feel like we did so much this summer i was like i need a chill like moment like a few weeks back to back to back of just like working in our schedule and our regular routine doing our thing and not like leaving so that's what we've been doing and i have been eating it up because you know, i get overwhelmed sometimes whenever we do too much so she's been a very chill life lately and i've been loving that summertime is about to come to an end mid-september it turns to fall football season i'm excited for that but i'm rambling now okay love you guys see you in the next vlog